today we're going underground with West Coast Eagles AFLW player Brianna Green, thanks to Bar Minko, to get some insights into our 2020 campaign and how she is breaking new ground. We all know her as Breezy this season. She's had a few nicknames, but Breezy is what we're sticking with. Is that right? That is right. It was. Uh, it's been legs for about four. Oh. Eight years, but I'm trying to trying to wing that out. I think it doesn't really make sense when you've had a knee injury for about a year and a half. So I'm I'm sticking with Breezy, new club, new nickname, I reckon. What do you find most challenging about the AFLW environment? It's probably balancing things. I think, um, especially when I was injured. I think, I guess, having to go to work when you're managing a knee injury was probably probably pretty difficult. And I think probably in the long term. You know, it kind of slows things down a bit because I work in hospitality um, when I'm not um, studying pastry. I'm a barista, so on my legs for nine hours a day. So that's probably the hardest thing. Is so this is the the big money question for us. How will you be breaking new ground this season? Uh, probably playing full season. I think um, probably the strongest and fittest like I've ever been. Probably being in the gym for about a year solid most days. Who is your biggest inspiration? Probably, probably have to be um, Kiara Bowers. I know she's, you know, the opposition side now, but you're just looking, you know, observing how she went through her rehab, and you know, quite similar. We had, you know, a lot of setbacks. Um, yeah, just looking and observing the way she goes about her rehab. Always has a smile on her face, but I think you can always, you know, have those one one conversations. She's pretty, she's pretty real about it as well. The struggles um, that she's gone through, um, and then to have you know, first two years out of the game and then first debut season absolutely kills it and plays the turbo style footy that we know she can play. Um, she's probably someone that I've always probably looked um, up to. What's the quirkiest thing about you? Probably renowned for my socks. I think I probably started the wacky sock Wednesdays. What about, I personally like when I go into the gym and you've been there doing your rehab or doing your gym session. What's usually going on in the background? Oh, um, yeah, I think people figure out pretty quickly that I'm into my classical music. Um, it's probably only something that I've gone into this year. Uh, I just found, especially when things weren't working out too well with my rehab, things weren't progressing the way that we wanted. You know, it was kind of hard, um, you know, going to the gym and I'd have the classic gym playlist, you know, hip hop, rap. And I just found like it was, made me a bit anxious, just, you know, the lyrics and the beat was pretty heavy. Um, and you always get told, especially when you're uni or high school, to listen to classical um, when you're studying. So I was like, oh, let's, let's give that a go. And I started really enjoying it. It was just, it kind of just made me focus a bit better. And it was like, especially coming off like a long shift at work, it's just like, my, like me time. You're still able to listen to that little voice in your head that keeps you to keep pushing. Um, so yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed the classical music this year. Makes a lot of sense when you say it like that, but it's the weirdest thing I when know. you walk into the gym I... and you see someone boxing <clears throat> and trying to hurt the other person to classical music. Yeah. Very, very quirky. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Breezy, thanks for joining us on the couch. Uh, coming underground, thanks to Bar Minko and having a quick chat ahead of our 2020 campaign. Thanks, Hook.